What's going on, guys? <laughs> it's your boy Terabyte Reacts. I'm still, I'm still hyped. Just finished um, reacting to um, Code Geass episodes uh, six through eight. Yeah, six through eight. Um, hands down, one of the best episodes I've ever seen in anime. Episode eight, Code Geass R two. Um, crazy, crazy episode. But we're here for Attack on Titan. So we're going to just jump in. Um, I'm curious to see what's going to happen now. Uh, as I said in the last reaction, um, I'm guessing that Mikasa is going to become the new main character protagonist. They've set it up. Seems like they're setting it up that way. As I said, I still could be wrong because it could end up being one of those anime where, you know what I'm saying, nobody is safe. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody is safe. There's no main character per se. It's just everybody just fighting for survival. You're going to have people that has their moments, but everybody just fighting for survival. Um, but it still will be dope if Mikasa is a main is the main character, right? So, um, so I'm curious to see what ha what happens here. Um, Aaron is dead. Um, yes, but I'm also, somebody was telling me in the comment section to pay attention to everything that's going on. Oh, I'm watching. I'm trying to make sure nothing miss me, dialogue, whatever it is. I'm making sure that nothing, I don't miss anything. I mean, they built up Aaron so much and then they just kill him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And vicious dead at that. I mean, he did a good thing before he died, you know, saving Armin. That was pretty cool that he did that i mean that those couple of titans they just wiped out the team man that that was vicious anyways man i'll see you guys back for the review let's go watch these episodes man i don't want to waste any more of your time lego all right so click that link in the description and i will see you guys over on the google drive or bit shoot whichever way you're watching it all right thank you guys for watching as always i'll see you guys for the review Okay, so explanation, please. I mean, you guys want to explain this to me or should I try and theorize this? Because this not making any sense right now. Like, I'm confused. Why is Aaron alive? Why was he in the neck of that Titan? Like... Do all the Titans have a human in them? Like, so many questions. Do, does all the Titans have a human inside of them? Is that why they've been targeting the Neck? Because that's where Eren came from. Is that the reason why they've been targeting the Necks as their weakness? Is that the reason? Is a is there a human in all of these Titans? Is that... It, what's the situation here? Because... I don't know. I really don't know what to think right now. Like, this threw me off. It threw me off. Completely. It threw me off completely. I mean, I'm happy Aaron's alive, but I'm more confused by the mystery behind his death and his rebirth, I guess. Because he, he's got his arm and his leg back. Does he take on the properties of the Titan? The regeneration? Is that it? I don't know right now. I am confused out of my goddamn mind. <laughs> I am so confused right now. I don't even know what to think. Because this anime... I mean... Well, you can throw all my theories out the window. Of the... The whole thing that I'm saying that um, the story is going to go in a different direction and all of this other stuff. I mean, Mikasa was willing to die. This Titan just come out of nowhere and taking out Titans left and right was entertaining to see. But the shocker at the end of, end of episode eight, I mean, my God, what is this? 
that's nuts. That is nuts. That is nuts. That is a surprise I I can't even try to begin to understand. Like I'm trying to trying to make up things in my head to try to explain this and I can't. I cannot. This is probably going to be the shortest video, <laughs> the shortest intro and review you see on you see on my channel because I don't know I don't know what to at this point the only thing I can talk about really is the fact of them finding the resolve to fight back um after what happened using the titan to get to get to the to the headquarters that was a pretty awesome strategy that they used within the headquarters with armin that's his strength his strength is not being out there on the battlefield you know what i'm saying like he's not his strength is not there he can do it but that's not his strength his strength is academics he's 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 a bookworm right so him being the strat the strategist that he is you know, he came up with the strategy inside of the HQ to take out the rest of the Titans. Um, great strategy, blind them with gunpowder, gunpowder, and I, I thought something would have went wrong, which something actually did. Um, they didn't get, was it one or two of the Titans? Um, I think it's the one that Connie was responsible for, and um, what's her name? Um, Potato Guru, um, Sasha. Um, I think I don't know if it was two or just one um, that they were responsible for. And I don't know if they didn't cut deep enough, if they it looked like they missed. And um, what's her name? Annie and Mikasa, I think, had to come in and save them. So that was that was pretty cool. But at the same time, they, they messed up. They could have got killed because of it. So, um, but yeah, man. I'm just confused about the end of that episode because I didn't expect that. I mean, as emotional as Mikasa is just happy that he's alive. She don't care how <laughs> she doesn't care how it explains why the Titan was ignoring them and going after just the Titans because that's Eren's whole thing is is will. So I don't even know if he's in control. You know what I'm saying? Because he looks to be just wild out of his mind, but still like subconsciously doing things if he was in there. So, I mean, while being in there, not if he was in there, it doesn't seem like he was conscious in there because when he rolls up like this, you know, he looked like, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's a subconscious thing that happened. I don't know how. How the hell did he get inside of a Titan? That That's the most confusing thing about this whole thing how did he get inside of a titan you know did he take over from the titan that ate ate him is it you know what i'm just gonna watch the next few episodes man um for i'll be watching that on wednesday for thursday's release um hopefully to see more that was a big, that was, it, it was a big surprise to find out that it was Aaron that was in there. I mean, episodes were good, very good episodes, no doubt about it. Um, don't have no issues with any of them. Animation, awesome. Sound design, always 10 out of 10 so far. And the voice acting, man, can't say too much about it. You know what I mean? It's just great top to bottom. Anyways, man, I'm out of here. Thank you guys for listening, as always. If you came back to watch a review, I know some of y'all are not watching it, but it's, it's all good, though. Make sure y'all leave a like, man. There's more Attack on Titan to come, so make sure y'all leave a like on this video. Leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you thought if you watched the series already. Tell me what you thought when this happened, um, if you were as confused as I am surprised, um, you know, because yeah <laughs> anyways man we out here terror squad it's your boy terabyte reacts see you guys next time peace